morning, team country. I, I wasn't good. Let me do it. I go, woo! I felt that wasn't good enough. Hey, how are you? Hey, when you film when you're home, I mean Home Depot, which I'm pretty much at home. Hold on, I gotta fix my stuff here. It feels, hey, there we go. Maybe y'all can hear me now. Maybe you could hear me before. I don't know. And why do I keep looking at the glass instead of the camera? So, y'all already know where we're at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, and yes, I made my bed at Home Depot. If, if that was your next question. Hey, I read those comments, I know. Have a good Mr. Bill. Thank you. And Lindsay. So, Mr. I bought some, uh, hey, hold on. I bought some paracord, which I'd prefer to have. That gummit, it didn't fell in my shirt again. You know what? I don't even care this time. It just feels funny. Oh, oh, oh hey, my legs are sore from that, getting on that roof yesterday. Um, oh, can on the floor. All right, so, where is it at? The bun or, no, it's not bungee. It's paracord because they didn't have bungee. Dang it, Mr. Bill done tied it up. I bet he did that on purpose. I did a phone sale for some roach spray. No, I don't have roaches. But I am going to promote a product in a minute because I have had roaches in Tennessee. Not by choice. All right. No roaches in South Carolina. Thank God. So, all right. So, anyway, we live next to a house. I'm not going to say any names. But they had a severe cockroach problem. And they lived about 30 feet from us. 30 feet, 40. It doesn't matter. 50 feet or so, whatever, from us. And it caused problems in our house, cockroaches. And, you know, it's not like they were everywhere. You couldn't just say, hey, there's a roach. I mean, it wasn't like that. But you would just be sitting there eating dinner and all of a sudden look over and be like, Really? There'd be a, a roach in the middle of the night crawling down the wall. If there's one, there's probably one million. So, hey, I wish this truck wouldn't park like that. Anyway, I gotta go do some pest control, I guess. Hopefully I don't hit this vehicle. Man, it's a tight spot getting out of here. I just wait till I feel a bump. Hit the buggies back here. As soon as I feel a little bump, I'm like, all right, I can go forward now. Um, man, I really... I know, ADD, but I'd like to have one of those Tundras like that. Yeah, I like those. Um, I'm not sure if they're as good as a GMC, but they look good. And I've ridden in one, and I know the motors are uh, pretty nice, but I remember having a lot of problems in that new Tundra that I used to ride in for work. Okay, off subject, promotion. If you've got roaches, get this from Home Depot. No, you can't get it anywhere else unless you have a co-op. Get Bingle. Go get it. If you're watching my video and you saw a cockroach, you've got more. Go get it. Bingle. Bingle. Hey, it comes out kind of like a powder. By the way, I got rain clouds. See that? Yeah, you see that. Go figure. It's been days. Um, anyway, Get Bingle, guys. Spray it into places where there's cracks and you think there might be something. If there is something, they will come out. That stuff is like, it. it's, we tried everything. We had, you know, professionals spray the house. We had bait, the little whatever. We, all of it. We tried everything. There's nothing that worked. Finally, the neighbor was doing something about his house he had most of the furniture out there was hardly anything in there the guy was a little bit of an oddball in anyway that's beside the point doesn't matter um and he got a lawn chair and sat in the middle of his living room yes i know this is odd after he sprayed two cans it's like 14 bucks a piece guys it's not cheap sprayed two cans and all the cracks in his house and sat in the middle of the living room and called me and said, hey, he said, I tried that bingle out and it's been about an hour. He said, come over. I came over and every roach, pretty much from the entire house, 
had crawled to the living room floor to die. It was a horrific sight, but that just told me how much it worked. Then I tried it myself and absolutely could not believe it. Um, if you think you don't have bugs, go buy some of this and spray in the cracks. Mm-hmm. Bet you find out you got bugs. Anyway, no, I know some of you don't. I'm just kidding. Um, so I've got to go do some pest control. Any? Oh, why? Hi, we got off subject. The cord. I got 50 feet of thin paracord. I'm gonna drill a hole through a baseball, and I'm gonna tie that knot at the end so it can't come out. Maybe two knots. I got two. No. And I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm going to tie it to one of those, uh, like a dog, you know, the metal things you twist in the ground and you tie your dog to? Well, we have one of those. I'm going to tie this to it, and I'm going to bring it back 50 feet, because it's 50 feet long. And I'm going to put my homemade Home Depot tee, and when he hits it, it's going to go 50 feet. And then it's gonna go 50 more because I went behind it 50 feet. Get it? So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's paracord. So it breaking with him hitting a baseball is it, just not gonna happen. I'm not even sure I could break it. Well, maybe. But uh, after this, I'm gonna see if this works out. And if it does, I'm gonna order some actual bungee cord. That way, when it goes 100 feet, it'll have some reflex and actually come back, and we won't have to jerk the rope to get it to come back. But this is just, uh, you know, this is kind of my homemade thing that's in the making. I'll perfect it. I'm sure I'll change it. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. But whatever. Hey, I'm getting it. All right, guys. Country's back. All right, so I told you guys I had to do some pest control, and I was going to get a suit a Tyvek suit and I got two cans of Bengal spray and I got 12 bait traps and I walk in and I'm expecting to put on a suit I'm expecting it to be bad I walk into this what where's the bugs what I'm like um does anybody see even a, a little bit of a sign that says there is a bug in this house? Because I don't see it. This thing is... I like that. That's nice. The backsplash is awesome. Look at that. It's got tile. And look, look, even on the back of the island, look at this. Yeah. So, that's not my favorite part. Oh, I like that too. That is not my favorite part. Hold on, let me show you these floors. Look at this. Is that not insane? Look at the shine off this. All right, so let me show you my favorite part. As I was checking for bugs, man, this house is just a flawless oh stairs hey look that's gonna come on when I get near it boom that's still not what I was talking about all right so hey these floors are nice too upstairs look at that all right so I'm walking in and I'm like hey I wonder what the master bathroom looks like I walked in I was like uh it's pretty crappy for a house this size. It's big, but I mean, look. Really? Look at, really? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's big, but they made up for it with the closet. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Boom, look at this. I was like, are you kidding? What? Look at this closet. It even has like, like really? Look at 
Yeah. All the way around. Over here. All this. Got some more hanging hook. Look. This wall too. You know how much camouflage I could hang right here? A whole lot. That's how much. Hey, I had me a whole camouflage side. Anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy that. Okay, I see no bugs. Look, this is just an upstairs, do what it, like an upstairs TV spot. Look at this. Yeah, like a whole nother upstairs living room. Got TV outlets and plugs there. I'd hate to know how much this is for rent, but this is like a dream house. Not not where it sits, but if this was like way out in the cut, I'd like to have this sitting there with a few changes. There'd be a few changes. I'd have some natural wood all over the place. But uh, other than that, the layout of this thing is would we'll just give everyone their own space. Good Lord. The laundry room's upstairs, but uh, it's a big one. Everything looks bigger in person than it does on camera, obviously. But, uh, hey, this thing's flawless. I can't believe they wanted uh, treatment for cockroaches. Like <laughs> Maybe where they moved from, they had a problem, and they wanted to make sure they weren't going to have an issue. But I'm just going to open up some of the... I'm not going to use any of the spray. God, these floors. I can't get over these floors. Oh, hell, well, hello, rain. Really? It was not doing this when I walked in here a couple of minutes ago. Of course it is now. Just lit. I'm telling you, these floors. Thumbnail. 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 Hey, we gotta get some options for the thumbnail, all right? That's what we're doing. Hey, and it's raining. So I'm getting off here right after I point at these palm trees that need some love. Thumbnail. And I'm home. Hold on. America. All right, so I made it home. And the rain, I think, has stopped. Just enough because everything's soaking wet now. Thank you, Mother Nature. Anyway, so I actually finished my, well, almost finished my baseball design on that tee. Um, well, you, hey, let me unlock the shed and I'll show you. All right, boom, shed unlocked. Magic. All right, so I figured out how to weigh it down now. I had just enough room. Boom. Just enough room, boom, to add a 10 pound weight to the design. Boom. Hey, and if 10 pounds too heavy for you, you're probably in the wrong sport anyway. So, the 10 pound weight now lets it sit down nice. And still gonna get another bucket because that one's still got a crack in it. Very small, but enough to matter. And, oh, it's over here. For neighborhood practicing, if you have, you know, if you're in a neighborhood, I've got this. It's not tangled, but I'm not going to stretch it out. So, I hooked, this is just a beach tie-out or yard tie-out, whatever you want to call it, for a dog. I already had that. So, you twist it in the ground. Twisty, 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 twisty. Boom, it's twisted in the ground. Not really. And I'm going to do a real baseball, but first I did one of the uh, synthetic Dix baseballs. And I drilled a hole. See there? Hole. Which was extremely easy for some reason with a drill bit. Like, anyway. And I got 50 feet of... Boom, paracord, which is, I hope you know what paracord is. And boom, tie it on both ends. And when they hit it, okay, so I bought 50 feet 
which 50 feet's, you know, obviously not a, a very good hit for a baseball. So, the plan was to stretch the baseball. You see what I'm saying? Stretch it out. Hold on. Okay, so, when I bring it back, I'm going to go behind my tie out 50 feet backwards. That way, they can hit it 100 feet. Get it? Anyway, so yeah, it just, boom, sits up there. They can tee off. And also, not just teeing off, but they can pick the ball up, throw it, and hit it, because it's still tied to the tie out that's on the ground. Boom. They can pick it up and hit it, too, to get their timing. Hi! You're all dirty. My ice cream is all over my hands. Your ice cream's all over your hands? You just, you caught me right in the middle of a video. How about that? Where have you been? At the ice cream store and also at the playground. At the ice cream store and the playground? Mm -hmm. That sounds that sounds more fun than what I was having. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hush it. Yeah, I said, I said where have you been? She said the ice cream store. Oh, and the park. What's that? I don't know. We may be. What, baby? We need to get you cleaned up. I'm gonna get off here so I can get her cleaned up. Get her done. Hey, come swing on this. Where's he going? Oh, he can't swing on it without a bat. Hey, we're gonna show y'all how the genius. Well, maybe not genius. Whatever. We're going to show y'all how this thing works. Get it. Country's weighted T on a string. You got bit by ants. Yeah, I got bit by ants. Shut up. I just had ant fire ants crawl all over my ankles. I can already see the bites everywhere. I was pitching the Caden and I was standing right on a tiny little nest that I didn't see and up kind of a couple of hundred of them. Really? Where is that thing? Where is that nest I stepped on? Hey, there she is. Or is that? that? No, I guess that's mine. It is too. There's hey, thousands of ants in that footprint. Tell me. Look at that. You were standing here and I was standing way over there. Maybe Albert stepped in that one. No, that was when you were pitching straight and you almost hit the car. Hey, anyway, it don't really matter where the fire ant nest is. You know what? I don't even really want to walk over here to find out. Oh, all right, I found it. It's small, but there's hundreds of them. I don't even know if y'all can see them or not, but hey, whatever, take my word for it. It's there. Let me show y'all this genius. Caden, go swing on it for him. Go swing on this for him so I can show him how it works. And we're gonna pause because he gotta walk over here. And we're live. All right, on a string, boom. We actually tied it to the weight this time, but we can do it either way. Look here, get it. What do you mean it wasn't good? Yeah, it was still a good hit. Well, we usually have someone to throw it back to us, but if you buy yourself, then you can pull it back. See there? Get it. This is the first time this has ever been live on TV. Oh, hit a little top. See, this teaches them to swing high. It's called the high T drill. How high is this on you? Stand up next to it. Four, my, my. Level, it's a little below his chest. That's in the strike zone, guys. So if you want to measure your kid, do it. He's actually been tangled up by this already because he laid it on there funny. But anyway, there you go, boy. Well, that's it, guys. The country tea. Say hi, Albert. We're out here at the front of the neighborhood by the road in a field. Just getting it. All right, guys, let's take a listen. Sorry, I was trying to get a peaceful cricket sound and Caden's choking his brains out in there. Rex, you in a cool corner? This is his napping corner. He loves the smooth glass. Always moves the paper towels. Has since he was a baby. 
Anyway. Got him some crickets. Now Caden's gonna listen to him while Rex sleepies. Hey, well that'd be it for the day. Where did my drink go? I have lost the drink. Who got it? So, it's like eight something. Maybe it's like 8.30. And I just got out of the shower and everyone is asleep. Kira, Caden, and the wife. And it's really not that, I mean, it's getting dark, but it ain't even dark yet. Hey, I'm the only one up getting it now, but I had to get my drill off the porch. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, I gotta put it in the truck before somebody nabs it. I don't wanna look, hi Willie. I don't wanna lose my drill. Hey, hold on, hold on. Oh, hey, that's, that's better. Anyway, like I said, everybody's asleep. I don't know why, but they's asleep. Oh, um, I better open the other door. Dun, 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 dun. Flip flops and wet grass. Mm -mm. Like I said, I just got out of the shower. Oh, spider web. Spider web ball head. Oh, keys are not in here, so I'm locking it. Boom. She's locked. I had a girl. All right. Flip flops and wetness. Hey, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I got... Who the... Who drew that on the sidewalk? What in the world? Something carrying a baby? Uh, can I get this on here? Look here. It's almost a little freaky. I'm gonna keep it on there so y'all can see it. Look here. I have no idea how that got there. thumbnail okay maybe not oh me and my bald head are going in for I get ate up by any more mosquitoes and anyway I'll see y'all tomorrow country Carter America signing out